welcome back to Cleo Games. We're still rocking uh, the Outer Worlds right now. I mean, and Borderlands too, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, last we stopped, I was going to go attempt to save, um, what's her face? I wish there was a vending machine in here, the, like a vending machine around here, because I need to buy more energy cells, but it uh, doesn't seem to be one, which is a problem. But it's fine, we're here now. <laughs> we're going to make it work. If I die, I die. Because last time I was here, last time I played this section, I did almost die at one point. I didn't, but I, I almost did. There was this man right here. What's it? Your friend just drops dead and you just don't even realize it. LOL. 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 Look, they're not even even... That's hilarious. That's wild that, like, we're just like, yeah. My homie got, uh, got yeeted and it's just <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Man, that's wild. So they didn't even care about their friend. Hold on, the goods in here. Easy. Energy cell, Adreno. Oh, troop armor. I'll take it. I should probably look at my, uh, what you call them things. What's it called? My inventory and get better armor on. Nine. Look at that. Parvardi, we're gonna. Oh, she already changed her weapon. Okay, and what else can I give to her? Their current is seven, but nine is better. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna give you this helmet. That's a, also a nine. I mean, I can probably just break all this shit down because I don't really need it right now. Currently. Might as well do it now while I'm thinking about it, because if I don't, I'm not going to do it. Uh, homeboy said he likes blunt force weapons. Um, it's keeping the grenade launcher, obviously. Because, like, why would I get rid of it? <laughs> it's a good weapon. Okay. What the hell? Oh. Really? This little Zoe lady, she she's gonna be the bane of my existence. Like this little fight here. Like I I fucked it up last time. Well, oh, hold on. Oh, that's not a person. Where's all the people at? Oh, there's one right there. It. And they come in droves. <laughs> LOL, they run away. Do they just like leave all of them? Well, I mean, sometimes you uh get scared and run. I don't blame you. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. You now. Oh. Right in the... Bring your ass downstairs, boy. Oh, I see. So when you charge it up, it does more damage. Come out that door, I dare you. Come outside, I dare you. Stand and deliver. Always wanted to say that. That was a hurt. Oh shit. Right in the vital. Okay. 
Okay, we fucked that up. Who's this? Companion perks! Your companion is leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page in your ledger and select the perk button to see available perks. Oh, where the hell? Did, oh, because they all ran away until they came back to wreak havoc on my body. Oh, Zoe. It didn't have to be this way. But you caused it. Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. What? Teach me your ways. You're Zori, your people are looking for you, you sound confused or possibly unscrewed, not for free. Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. Okay. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Mm-hmm. I've been sent to... F uh, actually. I'm great at clarifying. Why did you think it was a good idea to leave? How, how are you even alive? <laughs> I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. You know what? Get oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Really? I have barted them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Where'd you get boxes of them from? Okay. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Great, I'm listening to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I killed all your friends. And no cereal dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Cool. Bye. Um. There's like a, um, a box somewhere with shit in it. Oh, here it is. Can I open it? Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, I have skill points. I just need to get it to 20. Right? Oh, they want it to... 18 of 20. Yeah, I need to get my lockpick to 20, so we're just... And then we'll do dialogue up. We'll take it to 40. And then we'll do some... Medical. And then we'll apply. And then what's her face has a perk. Uh oh. What's her perk? What? Um base health, threat generated. Oh my engineering. I don't know. She's gonna level up again, I'm sure. So we'll do health for now. I think. Oh. So now I need mag picks. Y'all are some bastards. <laughs> Well, that scared me a little bit. I didn't jump, but I, I felt the jump. What's in here? I need I need mag picks, y'all. Mag picks. The little blue things. Oh. oh that's Spacer's Chow. Man. How am I supposed to be successful if I don't have the tools that I need for success? Wish I could just shoot these shits open. That would be helpful if I could just and blow the bitch up. That's how it should be. Man. Oh wait, what's in here? Ammunition. Can't go wrong with ammunition. Zoe, darling, you were supposed to have left to go home by now. There's nothing I don't want. Bit cartridge. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, I can't get. Oh, 
these little mag pick things are gonna be the death of me. I can't use them to literally, uh, they're, they're like blocking my path to everything. And I need them to not do that. Just outside, okay, whatever, I'm over it. Return to Grace. We're just gonna run back up the hill because that's where she is anyway. Work smarter, not harder. I mean, I guess fast traveling would take less time. But we're just gonna run there because she's kind of a slow runner, Loki. Maybe not. I mean, it goes down pretty quickly. We'll be there in no time, hopefully. I if I'm already level 5. Probably because I've already played through all this stuff before, so, like, I know what to expect. And I was playing Borderlands, so, like, I'm... My, my gun skills aren't as bad as they could be. In which case, I can't claim noob status anymore. Grace! What is it? Who are you talking to? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined with the band of marauders and hurt us. Zoe joined up with the band of marauders. Zoe, the same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, well I've heard stranger things. I've seen stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Facts. That is the least you Let could me do. Let know if I can do something for you. Would you pay me? What? What? Why is it broken? On repair. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at the brick pens using weapon and armor parts get them from breaking down on one of the items players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench repairing an item returns to 100% durability and full effectiveness ready to cause any to cause or prevent maximum damage so what's what's broken is my plasma rifle oh shit that's all I want to do what's broken the fuck is it my armor? I'm confused. What's broken? Oh, this. There's nothing that's broken. Like, what are you talking about? Hmm. I mean, we'll still go to the workbench anyway, but I don't know what it is you're referring to that's broken. I also don't know why I got plus 4,000 EXP. Hello, Tomas! Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. A bolter pistol. Whoa. What? Uh, Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Oh, he like her. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great. Just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running. Just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait. They didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm from here. I'm passing through because of the compliment I'm trying to get over. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Why? Like? Fact is, I've been well, lying to everybody here. Can't think I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Dang, that's tough. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Sure. Would you? I'd be grateful. What's on your mind? Anyway, I'm like, I don't care that much. Um. Turn the mess and find the three volumes. Is it going to show up on my map? Oh, it is, actually. Engineering volume. Oh, okay. Well, let's look at the map, then. There's one at the community center. There's one here. And then there's... 
another one somewhere else. Are those people going to re-pop back up? Do they respawn? Is that a thing that they do? I hope not. I'm not, uh, I'm not down for the respawn. I got better things to do than have monsters respawn on me, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I think it's a good idea to let them respawn because it's not. Let them stay in their holes and die. That's how I feel about that. Because otherwise, like I swear. Yeah, I don't think they reload, respawn. Hmm. I guess like once you clear it, you clear it, which is fine by me. I mean, if I gotta kill them again though, like I will. Like I have no qualms. I'll kill them twice. I killed them the first time. The weather is so gloomy out here. Like on Sunday, I think it was like 70 degrees. And now it's cold again. Well, it's not cold, but yeah, just kidding. Who am I lying to? It's cold. It's upstairs. Look at how empty it is. Oh, I did not come up here. I didn't know this was here. Oh, shit. How'd I miss this? Like, how'd I miss this area? Cause I did shoot that guy. Well, it's probably because I shot that guy up here and I didn't do any... I didn't do any further investigation. I kind of just... These little things are cute. But I imagine they're not so cute <laughs> when they get older. Like, everything has to get bigger, right? So I'm sure, like, right now, you're like, oh, cutie. And then in reality... Oh. Just kidding. I guess all the doors don't stay open. Because I'm pretty sure I opened that door. Okay, that's one. No idea where the third one is. Guns in the world are about to be customized and modified with different barrel scopes and magazines. You can use these mods to upgrade your gun on a workbench. Raising your melee weapon skill and last ability to do a power and sweep attacks. So, oh. I want to sweep. Pick people up and then slam them down. Because why not? Ooh. N-rays are an exotic effect discovered in the early 20th century. N-ray attacks cause internal damage to a target, which then radiates more N-rays to surrounding targets. Ooh. I like that. How do I get one of those? Okay. So, I might as well go do these two right now. I have no botched web things, which is great. I'm going to... I might as well fast travel over here while I'm at it. Get the thing, do the thing, and like go about my business. If you like to try different choices for skills and perks, try out the respect machine. On oh, cool. Good to know. So if I put all my skills and I can still reset them all and try something different, it's good to know. So in theory, if there was a conversation that I fucked up, I could redo it. Could you believe this was cut using hot wire? Went on a field trip to like an architect place, and they had like this super hot thin wire that could cut through things, which I think is wild. And so we were able to cut like styrofoam and stuff, which I thought was cool. I'm not gonna give the medicine to Abernathy. Oh, it's upstairs. Well, we might as well get out the way now because once I uh, take y'all's power, he gonna be big mad. What is this? Oh, so I can't get in there. If you could see your way to getting us our power back, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Go ahead. Taylor around your town late. I wish they had kind of misses her to come back. You seem pretty fixed and bring him back. But it's kind of used to worry about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. Mm hmm. You want some kind of treatment plan? How long has this plague been happening? That I cannot say. 
There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. That's fair. But in the last 10 years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. You should have deployed and developed immunity after repeated sort of distinguishing of contagion. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. What? The plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. Okay. Show up to work, put in your hours, wear a smile. Problems of the body come from problems of the spirit. Work improves the spirit and fortifies the body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what else fortifies the body against disease? Antibiotics. And I suggest we find this magical panacea. Can we pan for medicine in the stream? Of course. Medicine is a rare and precious commodity. If you demonstrate you have earned the right to be treated, you will be treated. Otherwise, you must heal yourself. What? You withhold medicine from your own workers. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would. But I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. It is not easy for me. And the moment it becomes easy is the moment I am no longer fit to serve. Spacer's choice is a family. And the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. Communism? Go ahead. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline inedible. So, what are you canning? Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. So, so what are you... What are you... Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Uh -huh. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of salt tuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Interesting. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Doubt it. I hope they return. Some people will ask way of things. There's no place to live. Of course, you Ooh. I mean, sometimes people move on. Scripture tells us we all have our purpose in the world. Our work shows us that purpose. We should not have to move on from it. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to play. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Mm -hmm. Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. Spearmint? Oh, God. Go ahead. It's disgusting. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. Mm hmm. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26, when you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. Mm -hmm. I remember looking out this window 
and seeing the veils spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Sh sure. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. <laughs> this is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, Red. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Cool. Well, I'm out. I wish I could just, I mean, I could just shoot him in the head and take their shit and leave. I need to get his key. I can't quite do that quite yet, because that's where the thing is. So until then, we're going to um, hand this medicine over. I love this elevator music. We're going to hand over the, mu uh, the, 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 blah, blah, blah. See, like, I know you want me to give it to you but like he asked for it first but also like he's a hypochondriac and this could save more people so we're gonna save more people if he dies he dies he already Somebody's paid his grave fees around town raving about a colony ship plague must have gone into their brain matter thanks i'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it cool here something for your trouble Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. What? <laughs> it's not that simple. You want my signs? You have to buy it. Never. That's harsh. At least leave me something to remember you by. Like right. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Huh. I wouldn't even call it negotiation. I was just trying to holler at a, at a, at a girl, but you know, it's fine. You can you can think that. Let's buy some energy cells for my lovely gun here. Same. If you fall in sick, I don't want you near me. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. Look, homie. See that you do. I got a business to run. Edgewater ain't gonna provision itself, you know. It sure ain't. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. She promises, see? Music to my ears. Okay. I need energy cells. I'm gonna just steal from you. I mean, I'm not going to, but I would if I... How about how that still only gives me 40? That ain't much. What can I do for you? Go ahead. Hmm. The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Mm-hmm. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching. Vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. The flu? Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Ethanol? Mm -hmm. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Mm. <laughs> Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. Great. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. True. <laughs> well, ta-ta for now. In the meantime, or in the next part, we are, um, I guess, going to do this quick little mechanical scout thing. Get it out the way. Um, and then go from there. 
So that should be a good time. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends. Thanks for being you, watching, um, being good little followers. I appreciate you all. But you all know the drill. Stay saucy. I'm not this bitch. You really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick, you don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is going to hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you? People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. Why? Is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. <laughs>